Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we'll be showing you how you can set up a Pingvin share uh, server so that you can like essentially kind of share your files out with a with a specific link um, and use it so that it's kind of nice to be able to just kind of like Dropbox stuff, um, but from your own server that you can host. So. This video is also sponsored by me, myself, and I. So if you enjoy my content, want to sponsor me, or send me some free swag, let me know. My email is in the description below. So let's get started, guys. All right. So the first thing that we'll do here is log in to our server. And 68. Um, and then we will uh, install Docker here. Config manager so we'll add the repo for docker https download docker.com linux cento s and then docker ce dot repo then we'll do a docker in docker ce for the install and we will let that run for um a little bit it'll take a few seconds while that runs while that happens we'll update our dns via gitlab um, so we got a whole CI CD pipeline for my DNS where I update that zone file and it deploys out to the service. So we'll hit six um, to update the zero and then ping vin share is what we have. And we'll update a and then a 68 and add that to commit ping vin share commit and we're good. So now that's going to all start run the pipeline. Um, so we can go actually look at ping vin share here um, and we'll, we can type in docker um, but we're going to actually go to the github and essentially this is the whole github repository that and they even have a demo site that you can actually look through and and look at um, but we're going to go with the recommended inst installation with docker here um, so we're going to download the docker compose file which really we're just going to copy it from here and then do a docker compose up um, so we'll take a look at this file here. I like to just look at it raw because it's easier to copy and paste this. Um, we'll do a system CTL enable Docker and start Docker. Then we'll via Docker compose file and paste what we had. And I'm gonna actually uncomment the clam AV um, in here. So, but not don't don't uncomment the, the optional stuff. Um, but essentially, Clam AV is an antivirus for Linux. Um, so it's a good thing to kind of have antivirus for if you have people uploading to your server to create shareable links of, of files. It's a good thing to have, let's put it that way. Um, so that it scans and makes sure that it, you, it doesn't upload some malicious files. Um, but we'll save that. Um, then we need to actually install Docker Compose here. So give me one second and I will install Docker Compose. So we will curl HTTPS github.com Docker Compose releases download. Download. Um, we're just going to grab the 2.5.0 release. The, they have a later version of it, but I'm just going to grab the 2.5.0 release. Um, 64, 86, six, underscore 64, Ooh. 64, and then we'll output that to use a local uh, bin docker compose. Okay, and then we'll make sure that it is executable. User local bin docker compose. And then we can do a dog compose. I think it's like this version. Yep. So we got the version. We got it. It's all good now. So from here, what we, we will do is do a Docker compose up and detach. So this is start running. Um, but while that happens, because this is also another thing that you can upload files and whatnot into a web GUI, we want to probably set up TLS. So we're going to log into our CA, CA server and create a cert that can be used for a TLS. Make directory ping, ping vin share. Uh, so step certificate. So ping vin share is the certificate dragon dot local. Then we need to specify the certificate in here. Cert 
and then we need the key and then it's going to ask for our provision and password so that's in our vault warden so let's log into our vault warden here real quick in here copy paste that and we are set for that um, so we'll copy this set and the key over to our server penguin share dragon local and then we are good with the server so we'll exit out of this go back to our other one we're going to install nginx real quick There it goes. And then we're going to make the directory Etsy PKI Nginx private and move our um, cert pingvinshare.cert over to Etsy PKI Nginx and then move our key over to Etsy PKI Nginx private. Um, now, notice I actually typed it in wrong. I did W instead of a V. That's okay because these are just uh, files. So I'm not, you can actually rename them. So we're going to actually go to Nginx private here and we're going to fix that. Um, penguin to pingvin share. <laughs> Typing is hard, guys. And then we'll edit Etsy Nginx, Nginx.conf. And we will uncomment this section here for the SSL and we'll update the cert and the key. Let's type this in right. Pingvin uh, share.dragon.local.cert and pingvin share.dragon.local.key. Then we'll have to update the location. So we're gonna proxy pass this to HTTP. Uh, localhost and 3000. Um, so the 3000 port is what's where we were at when we looked at the Docker Compose. So it's using port 3000, 3000. So we will restart um, Nginx here. Um, and I must have, give me one second. Oh, um, let's look at the private key over once I get cat, Etsy, Nginx, Nginx.conf. Did I type it in wrong? Give me a second. Oh, I must have typed it in wrong. Okay, Etsy, PKI, Nginx, private. Oh, I forgot, I, I forgot the dot key at the end, guys. And then, uh, this is what it is. There we go. <laughs> All right, now we can restart Nginx. Restart Nginx. And now we should be able to go to HTTPS, pingvinshare.dragon.local. It should be self-signed and we are set. So from here, uh, self-hosted file sharing platform, we can get started. We can enter our account here that we want to create and we can get started. Um, so we we can go through the customization. There's you know obviously a few things that you can take a look at. The app name, we want to change the app URL to actually be HTTPS pingvinshare.dragon.local because this is what we'll want when um, it creates this link for the file. We'll hit save. Um, if you want to set up email, you can set up email here. You can set up uh, share stuff, so allowing registration, allowing unauthenticated shares, probably wouldn't recommend that. Uh, max size, so this is in bytes, so this is actually uh, approximately one gig. So if you need, if you want to increase it more, you can. Obviously, this would depend on how much space you have on your server. Um, obviously, if you don't have that much space, you probably don't want to be able to allow like a 50 gig file. That wouldn't make any sense. Um, and then you got compression. You can set up SMN, SMTP or uh, social login if you want to. So what we'll do here is actually go to um, upload here and we can show you, you can upload a file. So um, we got our file from our fire share, um, 
video. Um, and you can see it generate, you can generate a custom link here, or you can actually type in a, a custom link. I'll just generate one. You can set expirations or to, for it to never expire. You got a few more things where you can set a password too, um, and the maximum limit of a file. So I will just leave everything as default. So essentially this will expire one day, this link. Um, this will upload or fail to upload actually, um, because the file is actually too big. Um, and the reason for that it will be, I need to actually update the Nginx configuration here real quick. So give me one second. I need to look it up real quick. Um, what, what it would be. Yeah. So, um, by Etsy Nginx, Nginx.conf. Um, I forgot because we're uploading files. You actually need to set it proxy read time out one, two, three, one, two, three, and proxy pa uh, client, oh, client max body size zero. If you don't have the max body size, it will limit um, on Nginx and essentially do um, what it did there and actually fail. So we're gonna do that. So now we can actually upload this file um, because it's actually, a, you know, it's, it's a 40 some um, it's a 40 some meg file, so it's actually pretty decent actually. Um, and there it goes. Now, now it uploaded. Now you can see the link. We can click the link and we can check out the link. Um, oh, I left the 3000 in there. You want, you want to remove the 3000. Um, yeah. So back when, oop, done, um, back in the admin, I left the 3000 in the configuration. You don't want that. Um, but now you can see the file has been, you can, you can look at, see, see this file. You can see the size, you can check the links or you can doubt even download the file. Um, so you can see I downloaded it here. Um, but the other cool thing about this actually is, um, you can check your, um, your stuff here. Um, give me one second. My shares, and you can see actually number of visitors in here, and when it expires. So, you, or you can just delete it too. So, you got you got a pretty decent amount of control here. Um, so there you go. If you need to start, if you need to share files or stuff like that with friends or family, um, this is one way you can do it. You can set it up and use it. So, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.